Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at lazy loading content. So you can see here I've got about 50 posts that are being loaded into this page. And as I refresh the page, we get this cool little loading widget. It says loading comments. We also have some stubbed out like postcard things that don't quite match what the actual layout is. Uh, but that's mostly just because I couldn't be bothered to uh, replicate it one to one. Uh, but you get the idea. We're going to be covering this. It's really easy to get up and running with the setup. So we'll just go ahead and cover it real quick. Uh, the only resources we need are going to be a stimulus components controller, which you can get from stimuluscomponents.com. I've linked to it in the video description. And we're gonna be using Font Awesome for this. I'm just gonna be using a CDN. I'll uh, just have a link to that in the video description as well. Uh, so to get started, let's go ahead and let's stop our server. Let's CD out of here. Let's make a Rails new app. And for this one, we're actually gonna be using Tailwind as opposed to like Bootstrap like we normally do, just because I thought it'd be fun to mess with. Uh, then we're going to CD into the uh, video. I need to rename this, say Rails new video, and then we'll CD into that video project and run our code dot just like that. Okay, and now that we're in our video project, we'll go ahead, we'll clear our terminal, move VS Code over here, and we can get started. So the first thing we need is the stimulus controller. Because we're using ES build, we're going to be using a yarn command to add this. We'll say yarn add stimulus dash content dash loader, just like that. If you're using your regular old import maps, it's going to be something like bin slash import map pin, and then whatever the name of the thing is, stimulus dash blah, 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 blah. Uh, we're using ES build in this case, just because uh, it's like the preferred way to do it, especially if you're using Tailwind, it's just a lot easier. Uh, and we're going to come over here to the CDN. We'll come into our app, our views, our application.html.erb, and we'll just paste this in pretty much wherever we feel like. Uh, you could also add this with like a yarn add command or whatever, but in this case, we're just using a CDN because it's easier. And that gives us effectively all the resources we need. Now to actually test our, or to demo this, we're going to do two different uh, scaffolds, I guess one, uh, and a controller. So the controller is just going to be a pages controller with a home action. And then for the actual scaffold, we'll do a Rails G scaffold for a post that has a title and a body of type text. And now that we have both of those, let's go ahead and let's do a bin slash dev real quick, just to make sure that if we refresh the page and we click run pending migrations, our application's actually working. So let's come over to pages slash home. We can see here, it looks uh, pretty ugly, which is good because that means stimulus or uh, tailwind is working. So let's go ahead and let's see what else we need to do. Uh, in terms of the stimulus content loader, we need to come into our app JavaScript controllers, and I believe it's our index.js uh, file. And then in here, uh, I don't know why I'm going to my notes because I have this open right here. We're just going to grab the content loader and we're going to grab the content loader right here and we'll just paste it in. So first we import it, then we register the controller. After that's done, I think we are pretty much good to at least start the server with a bin slash dev. We can come into our routes.rb. And inside of our routes.rb file, what we want to do is uh, create a new route that is going to be for lazy loading our content. So we'll just say get pages slash lazy load. So we'll put this in the pages controller uh, just because we can. And then we'll tell this to go to the pages controller lazy load action, which we have to create. We're also going to change the root of our application to be the home uh, page. Just so when we refresh, when we go to uh, oops, localhost port 3000, uh, takes us to our home page. Let me zoom in a bit as well. Uh, okay, so that takes care of that. We're done in the routes, the index, and the application.html.erb files. Let's come into our pages controller. Inside of our pages controller, we want to create that lazy load action. This is actually going to be pretty simple. I'm just going to say def lazy load, and we then grab whatever our collection is. So maybe we grab like posts, uh, and let's do, uh, well, let's do posts at all for now, uh, but you would ideally want to limit the number of posts you're grabbing to be the same as the number of stubbed out posts you're displaying if you want it to look right. Uh, in this case, because it's post at all, if I have 51 posts, I'm not gonna be creating 51 skeletons. I might create like, uh, I don't know, 10 different or nine different template cards or whatever. Uh, so you get the idea. We're then going to render a partial for post slash post. So it's gonna be a post partial. We'll pass in a collection of at posts. And the reason why we're doing this is because we can come into our views, our posts, right click new file underscore posts plural dot html dot erb and then in our index dot html dot erb file we can actually grab this and uh, just kind of move this post uh, stuff into that uh, post partial we can then render at posts paste in what we previously had and we're pretty much good to go 
Uh, optionally, you might want to include the div with an ID inside of here, depending on if you're doing any sort of turbo stuff. Uh, but at this point, we uh, have our posts uh, plural partial. We can now come into, and I'm going to go ahead and close the controller because we don't need that anymore. We're going to come into our pages and our home. Now in here is where we're basically going to be hooking everything up. So we kind of need this to look right. In our home page, we need to do a couple things. The first thing is we need to set up the stimulus component. So if we come over to our stimulus content loader and scroll down a bit, we can hopefully see we're going to be using this one with the font awesome spinner. There are other options like having a uh, refresh interval uh, and some other stuff that we've covered before, but we haven't actually covered this with like a working spinner. So we're going to grab the spinner version. We'll just paste it right here. And actually with the spinner version, I'm going to refactor it a little bit uh, because we're still using the controller, but the uh, loader URL is going to change. We're also going to be adding a couple of extra classes here. So we have our class of flex, flex dash call, item center, and justify center. This is all just coming from Tailwind's uh, styling. After this, I'm going to go ahead and clear these because we have uh, our um, uh, font awesome enabled. We can also throw in our font awesome spinner. So now let's come over here and let's refresh the page. You can see the spinner appears for a second and then it stops appearing. If you want to make this like load for a while, just while you're testing, what you can do is come into your pages controller again, even though I just closed it. And you can do something that's absolutely terrible practice, which is just to sleep too. So just cause the server to sleep for two seconds, make the spin for two seconds, and then it'll complete the request. So you can see right here in 2000 milliseconds because it's two seconds. Uh, so this allows you to test a little bit better. It does get annoying once you actually need some feedback while you're testing, but it might be something that interests you. Okay, so now after we have this, let's go ahead and let's add a section right after the spinner that says, hey, I'm loading the, the comments, or I guess I should say loading posts. Uh, there you go. So there, there's your little spinner bar. And now that we have that down here, what we want to do is just create a quick little section that stubs out our posts. So we're going to have uh, effectively something that's going to match what our posts look like. So we have a grid, we have a 10 dot times block, and we have our, you know, our post template being rendered in here. This is where you would probably want to like copy your post partial a little bit better than I did. Uh, I'm just kind of winging it here. So in order to render this post template, we're going to come into our pages, new file, and we're going to call this the underscore post underscore template.html.erb. In here, I'm just going to say post goes here for now, just so that when we refresh, we can see all of these appearing. Uh, we're going to be changing this a little bit, but I want to create the actual post partial. I just want this so that the page at least works, right? Uh, so now that we have that, let's come in and let's see what, how we do the post partial. So in our pages lazy load, that comes into our controller that renders the posts plural partial. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to close the index page here. And instead, we're going to come over to the post page. This post page is our collection of all of our posts. So we're going to be changing this a little bit. Uh, we're going to be uh, replacing the div with a class that has our grid information inside of it. We then iterate through each post. We give it a P4 and a H full, which does actually match what we have right here. Uh, and then we're going to render the post with a show link of true because we're going to have that uh, read more link inside of our posts. Uh, I kind of want this to um, I want this to not show the uh, show this post button if I'm looking at the actual post on the show page. So we're going to have to do a little bit of finagling there. That's OK. Uh, you could also just create a separate post partial, and this wouldn't be an issue. I'm just incredibly lazy. Inside of our post, I'm going to paste a lot of stuff in. It's pretty scary. The code will be in the video description in the GitHub repo. Uh, but basically, what we have is a set of classes here that causes this to take on the shape of a card. Uh, you can see we have some colors being assigned, the flex being assigned, etc. A lot of this stuff is pretty self-explanatory. We then put in the title and the body. And then down here, we do a quick little check if show link is set. If it is, we show this post. Uh, and the post just has a set to text. So now if we refresh, you'll see, hopefully after two seconds, that nothing's being displayed here. Well, we don't actually have any posts. So to add these real quick, we'll just do, we'll stop our server. We'll do a bundle add faker to add the faker gem. And then after this gets added, we can then come into our DB and our seeds and we can create some, some seed data. Our seeds are gonna be pretty simple. I use GitHub Copilot to generate this. It's just gonna be a 50 times, create a post with a title from lorem ipsum and a body from Faker's lorem as well. Uh, and then we can go ahead and run a Rails db colon seed. That'll create our post for us right there. 
Now let's do a bin slash dev again. And now hopefully when we refresh, we'll see these go away after two seconds. There you go. And now all of our cards appear. So this is pretty cool. And we can see here, depending on the size, uh, we either get two or three per line or per row. Okay, so now let's actually make the uh, the stubbed out version look a little bit better. Again, it's not gonna fully match. Uh, that's largely up to you. I'm not really a front end person. Uh, the fact that there's any styling at all should you know, be <laughs> a modern marvel. Uh, but basically how we do this is we use a lot of these BG gray with a rounded full uh, div classes. This allows us to create effectively a stubbed out version of the card that you can then change as you see fit. And then the final touch is gonna to be to come into your pages controller and get rid of this sleep too. Uh, actually, I'll just comment this out for the sake of the tutorial. Uh, there you go. And now you can see that this kind of spins up in about 500 milliseconds as it loads all of these. Now, one thing to note, we are, we're only rendering 10 cards uh, and we have, you know, however many on this page. So what we might want to do here is just like, I don't know, uh, instead of this, let's say uh, limit at, at posts to uh, 10 posts. So you can do right here, limit 10. And the final thing we need to do here, because I just realized that we're actually passing in the whole collection, we want to change this to just pass in the posts. And now we can see we have 10 posts being rendered with the 10 posts being stubbed out. If I refresh real quick, you'll hopefully see how that matches up. And again, you would probably want to make your stubbed out version responsive as well. Uh, the trick is always, because you don't know how large these things are, uh, making the stubbed out version can be a little difficult if the text here goes on too long. So that's where you also have to like truncate your text. But hopefully this at least gives you an idea of what a stubbed out version should look like uh, and how to do your lazy loading with that cool little, uh, oops, with that cool little uh, loading widget as this happens, right? So yeah, hopefully this was interesting and helpful and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.